Hey there, this is Kalyan from Blackbox Tech. Today I am going to show you how to transfer the data from server to client using transfer state. This is actually the continuation of the last week's video. So without further delay, let's get started. I am in the same branch from previous tutorial. The idea is to pull the environment variable from process.environment and make it available for client side application. Process.environment having many predefined variables loaded from system, but we need only the variables which we define in our environment files. The filter our variables from process.environment we need some kind of identifier. Let's add some prefix to our variables. I will use filter env modules to filter out our variables from process.environment. You can use simple javascript filter function for the same purpose. Let's install the filter env module. Open the server.ts. Now I will store the filter env within a constant. Now let's filter the variables. Filter env supports regular expression. So let's filter only the variables which have a bb underscore prefix in it. Now at last pass the filtered object to the providers. To enable state transfer between server to client, we need to configure our app module and app server module. So within our app module, let's import browser transfer state. And in app server module, let's import server transfer state module. In our app component, the objects return from server, we need to set that as a state object so our client application have access to it. So for that, let in the constructor, we'll add transfer state. Now within a constant, I will create a key called config. Now within our platform server condition, we will uh, get the object and uh, the main purpose is to set that object 
so that our client side application will also have access to it. Let's create a constant called environment JSON. First, we'll check if the uh, config uh, is available. If not, then pass and blank object. Now this whole object will be set as a state. So within our else block which is for client Let's check if it's working properly by getting the value again from the server and displaying to the client. This value will be available as a script tag when it's rendered from the server and you can actually call this using this.state.get. Let's start the server. Now in the console, let's check if the data has been loaded correctly. Yeah, the object has been added into the console the same value returned from the server and you can see a script tag has been added or injected from the server which holds all those data i hope you like it and if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next week video till then goodbye thank you